evolution takes place from aquatics, fish, then as the water dries up, there are vegetation, plants, plants, creepers, trees. Then gradually the insects, moths, reptiles, serpents, they come out. And then from insects, the birds, varieties of birds, there are three million kinds of birds. And aquatics, nine hundred thousand. And eleven hundred thousand, one million, one hundred thousand species of these insects and reptiles. And one million varieties of birds. And then uh, beasts, animals, four legged. There are three million varieties. So altogether, this is eight million. Uh, now, to total uh, human being, four hundred thousand species. Uh, altogether, eight million four hundred thousand species of living entities. So these are coming evolution by the laws of nature. You cannot stop it. The laws of nature, you cannot interfere. In this way we come to the human form of body and especially civilized human being, supposedly the, the Aryans, uh, the Aryan family, they are the topmost civilized group with among the living entities. Now, in this life, one has to inquire about himself, that uh, what is the difference between me and the dog? Why I am claiming a better position than the dog? What is the difference? The difference is that a human being, if he endeavors, he can understand his real constitutional position and he can understand God also. God. Therefore, in the human society, civilized human society, there is some sort of religious system. It does not matter whether it is Hindu religion, Muslim religion, Christian religion, or Buddha religion. There is some religion. In the civilized human society, there is some system of religion. So that system of religion means try to understand God. Religion means the law given by God. So civilized human beings, they are trying to understand God and His law. That is called religion. Now the difference between dog and me is that I can try to understand what is God, what is my position. The dog cannot understand. Dog means the animals. They cannot understand. So that is the difference between a human being and a dog. So if we give up a religion or the method to understand God and our relationship with Him, then we remain dog. We are not human beings. So at the present moment, the so-called human society, civilized human society, is giving up the conception of God, understanding God, especially the Communist Party. They are 
openly declaring that they don't believe in God. But those who are not communists, they leave sympathy, they say, that, yes, we believe in God. But actually they do not believe. Practically the entire human society is now becoming cordless. That is very dangerous position. And we have already come to that dangerous position. There are so many problems. And recently we have heard that New York City, the most important city in the world, they are in a problem, cannot keep the city very nicely maintained and clean. And they ask for help, some millions of dollars, and the federal government has refused. In this way, this godless society will have to meet so many problems of life, and if they want a solution of all these problems, they must take to God consciousness or Krishna consciousness. So that is our Savan Savastans on the movement of Krishna consciousness. International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So we are trying to, uh, it is very simple method. Anyone can accept it uh, by chanting and dancing and eating. And if one does not like this method, he wants to understand the philosophy, we have got fifty books of four hundred pages. You can see all these books. It is scientifically, philosophically presented. Fifty books, yeah. four hundred pages each. What about other religions? Eh? What about other well, religions? Well, we are speaking of religion. There is no question of other religion, your religion, my religion. We are speaking of God. God is God. Just like gold is gold, because it is in the hand of a Christian, you cannot say that it is Christian gold. The gold is gold. But do you accept the validity of other religion? Eh? Do you accept the validity of other religion? Validity, any religion which is seeking after God, that is valid. If any religion does not obey God, does not know God, that is cheating, that is not religion. 